And where is the line in the sand? And hopefully there is a new breed, a new generation of elected uh, or possible elected representatives, congressional hopefuls, that we can lend our ear to and hopefully they'll do as they say. So with that, we're going to bring to the next to the podium here, or to the non-podium, a gentleman from the state of California, Mr. Ted Turbo Lizard. It is time to end the economic slavery of the United States people. Yeah! Yeah, that's right, man! That is so true. It is time to end the economic slavery of the United States people. Today is April 15th, 2008, tax day. Raise your hand if you like paying taxes. Uh, no one raises their hand. Okay. Raise your hand if you like to pay more taxes. You want to pay more taxes? There's one guy here, a Democrat here. Okay, great. Raise your the hand only if you tax like is low. Same amount of taxes. No one raise their hand. Less taxes. Oh, wow. How about no taxes? No taxes. Yeah. yeah. Do you like to pay no taxes to the federal government? You all agree? Yeah! yeah. You don't you sign up for it. Yeah! yeah. Woo. Yes. Nada! Alright, it's that easy to figure out what all of you out here believe. How come these gentlemen over here don't understand? Yeah. Yeah. Time to go back to school! <laughs> we stayed on fun! in our lifetime. I think we all understand that the 16th Amendment is something that wasn't properly ratified, but if we just go through a movement of repealing the 16th Amendment, there's no question that we can get rid of the IRS. So all of you out here agree and understand and know these lessons. Your job, when you go back home, wherever it is in this country, you have to teach people. We're going to repeal the 16th Amendment. We're going to end the IRS. If we teach enough people, you don't want to go back once you learn that. Right, do you guys understand this? Yeah. To teach yeah. everyone you know, and once enough of us know in this great country, there will be no more IRS. Yeah, yeah that's right. So, uh, I was really pleased to see the Constitution reference. Anyone like a free Constitution? Yeah. 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 The founding fathers did not write about jet lag, and I declared it in California. Uh, you drove to Texas? Yeah! Alright. Yeah! Yeah! yeah, go to Texas! Alright, I'd also like to talk a little bit about the future. I know a lot of you have become interested in politics and had a passion for it from the Ron Paul Revolution. Is that correct? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Right. Now what do we do? A very important message to learn is that we have a long future ahead of us. It's not just, just one election cycle. Think in 10 years. Think in 20 years. Be active like you are now for the rest of your lives. Our country will be a great place. Right. So look at uh, the existing infrastructure that's there to help you. The local Republican Party, their committees and their organizations and their clubs, they are losing members. Yep. Yeah. The Republican Party is in trouble right now. 2006 was an awful year for the Republican Party. 2008 is an awful year for the Republican Party. And it needs you to join the Republican Party at the grassroots level. Right, the Republican Party, all of us... Republicanism. Okay, I agree with you. Yeah. Now, the Republican Party, if you talk to the people on the ground at the grassroots level, like all of us, they believe in less taxes and less government. It's the leadership of the party that has ruined that sort of message for us. So any of you that believe in less taxes and less government, believe in the Ron Paul Revolution, you are welcome to join the Republican Party at the local county level. How many of you have been to your local county committee meeting? Yes! Okay, I want to see more hands next time I talk to you. I want all of you to figure out how your local Republican Party committee meets and go meet those folks. Now, the Republican Party disagrees on issue after issue after issue, but we all agree on less taxes. So when you go to these meetings, be very polite, sit in the back, listen. There'll be people there that say things that you disagree with, but look at it in a 10-year cycle. You're going to make some friends there. And you're going to teach some of those people about what we know is to be so great about this movement we're in. So please think of it as a long-term investment in your future.
Yeah. Now, someone out here earlier was yelling about accountability for public officials. Um, we have a great future with all the sort of communications technology that's brought all of us together. A lot of us have met through the internet, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. keep using that. That is a great tool. That is the mainstream media of the future. So I have a website, turbocongress.org. How many of you see me on the internet before? No. This is working. This is really working. You see my videos or something? No. Okay, this is working. So all of you, look at that power and take that power and use that power. And uh, demand that of your future elected officials. Keep them accountable. Feel free to contact me or email me whenever you want. We're going to have a great future together. We just have to work on it together. Thank you so much. That's right.